So at approximately 3 o'clock this morning, officers were patrolling here on the 2400 block of San Jacinto. Initially, they heard what, th what sounded like gunshot uh, in the air, but upon further investigation, they were driving through the area and discovered that a pedestrian was struck on the, dr on the pavement, the sidewalk. Uh, witnesses were telling officers that the driver of that vehicle was fleeing northbound towards downtown from here in Midtown. Uh, officers uh, were getting updated from the witnesses and were able to uh, detain him on uh, approximately 1200 block of Jefferson, uh, just north of the Sacred Heart Co-Cathedral. Uh, preliminary information that we've been able to gather from the witnesses is that, that there was some sort of domestic violence that was occurring inside the, uh, the nightclub, one of these nightclubs here on 2400 San Jacinto. Uh, the uh, security staff uh, was able to break that altercation up between uh, one of our witnesses and the suspect. The suspect and witness, who's re related by, I believe, their marriage or girlfriend, uh, left the establishment. And upon leaving, the male got into the vehicle, uh, started driving around and struck, struck multiple vehicles. It then appears that his uh, girlfriend, who was his primary witness, uh, it was his uh, intention of striking her with his motor vehicle. Uh, the female witness, uh, who we believe is uh, married to the primary suspect, was able to get uh, out of the way. Unfortunately, a uh, innocent bystander who was walking on the sidewalk was struck by the suspect's vehicle. She was later pronounced by Houston Fire Department personnel here on scene. The suspect is in custody. Uh, we're relate. Uh, we're waiting on uh, two concerned divisions, either homicide and vehicle crimes. Uh, they're, we're in the preliminary stages of gathering additional information to make the determination of who's going to take the primary uh, investigative role in this. We're looking at this possibly as a murder charge because of the suspect's intentional act of trying to uh, strike his girlfriend, who's our primary witness. It's, it's kind of like uh, if he were to pull out a gun and try shooting his uh, wife and missed, you know, it's still, his intention was to uh, use a deadly weapon. And instead of a 160 grain bullet, he used a 4,000 pound motor vehicle as his weapon of choice. Anything, any questions you may have? Then the victim, was that a woman or a man that So it's my understanding that the, our victim, the decedent is a female. Well, do we know whether that female came from one of the nightclubs here? Or it's my understanding that the victim, the decedent, it was actually the manager of one of the nightclubs and was preparing to go home. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.